Today I wanted to give a curriculum walkthrough of a science program we are using this year. It is called Botany in Eight Lessons. I purchased this at ellenjmchenry.com. I purchased it as a PDF digital download for $14.95. I printed it out at home and I took it to my local office depot and had it coil bound and they put a uh, plastic cover on the front and then a black cover on the back and it's about four dollars. But um, this, um, on her website, it says it's for ages 8 through 14, but it says that it can be used as a high school biology course because it's, um, well, it says that it can be used as a high school science credit because it's basically high school biology, is what it says, um, for ages 8 through 14. It says it can be done in as little as four weeks or stretched out to ten weeks, but it does have eight lessons. Okay, but I'm just going to go through this with you a little bit. Okay, so the table of contents here, you can see there are eight lessons. Each lesson has two levels, level one and level two. Because this is for a wide range of age, um, level one is the easier, and then level two, of course, is harder. But level one covers plants, cells, and photosynthesis. Level two is on plant classification. Level three, non-vascular plants, or sorry, not level, <laughs> lessons. Lesson four, the vascular system. Lesson five, leaves and trees. Lesson six, plant reproduction. Seven, plant adaptation. Um, Lesson 8, and plant diseases. And then after the lessons, they give you the bibliography, the answer key, activity guide, a review, a final review and test, another bibliography, lap book patterns, and consumable pages. Okay. So this is lesson 1, plant cells, and this is level 1. Before I get into the actual lesson, um, well, I'll go ahead and do this part, but there's level one here. So this would be for the younger age range. And this is still lesson one. And they have these little uh, funny comical thumbprint guys, little funny sayings sometimes. This is still lesson one. There's three pages. Here are four pages. You see this one here is on um, cells dividing, and you got the thumbprint split in half. It's funny. All right. Now after lesson one, inside of each lesson, they give you some activities to do. You can pick and choose to do some of them. You don't have to do any of them. It's just whatever you would like to do. So here's one, two, three, four, five. And there's another activity. So there's six. Seven. All right, so that was lesson one, and it had seven activities to choose from. And this is still lesson one, but it's level two. So, you know, if you had an older child doing this, you would just use level two. So after, after all the lessons, you have the answer key. So for lesson one, for the activities that had answers, like 5, 6, and 7 had answers. Here's the answer key. After the answer key, you have an activity section. Okay, so here is lesson 1, some extra activities, like there will be games, um, little, you know, experiments of some kind, just various things. So for lesson 1, here's um, one option for an activity, it's a game. Here's another option, and it is a game. You print this out, and this is like a little board game thing. Here are some more parts to it. And here's another game option. 
So each lesson has several options for activities in supplemental learning. There's another option, there's four, five, six, seven. Um, these are still for option 7. Now here's option 8. And this is just for lesson 1. You can see there's many options, which all these are like game board pieces, these bigger drawings. And then Lesson 2. These are the only options. They have uh, only have two number 3's here. Anyway, 3 or 4 options here for Lesson 2 for games. And then, of course, there's Lesson, lesson 3. After the game section, you have a final review for Level 1. There's like a little test quiz thing you can do. After those, um, the next section is lap book patterns. Now the lap book patterns, they do not go in lesson order. Um, I mean, they don't have like, you know, lesson one lap book. They just have lap book idea one, lap book idea two. So you just choose whatever you want to do for your lap book. Like we chose this one, the tree trunk trivia wheel. And we chose the photosynthesis one. Gives you directions over here on how to do it. And then the copy of what you need. And we also done this one, the cross leaf section. And here's the one you have to print off to make that. And, you know, so there's just uh, more options here for lap books. After that, you have some consumable pages. Extra little stuff to do here. Okay, so now you know how it's set up. Um, I'll go ahead and go through just page by page, show you some of the lessons, kind of like what they entail. But before I do that, um, this is the lap book that my fifth grader is currently working on. You're not done with it, but um, this is her botany lap book so far, and. You can see the photosynthesis one. Um, each of these little tabs have questions, and you just raise them up, and it has has the answer there. And this is a uh, plant cell that she drew, the vacuole, which she just thinks is she likes the vacuole. I cannot grow plants. They well potted plants anyway. They always die. They wilt, and she says they die mommy because. Your vacuoles are dehydrated. <laughs> anyway, she thinks it's funny. And we've done the uh, tree trunk trivia. And this is our pop up of our cross leaf section thing. That's what we've done so far for that. And this is one of the uh, activity things that she made a plant cell. Has the vacuole there. And all the other stuff, the chloroplasts around the outside. Okay, so now I will go over some of these lessons. So, lesson one covers plant cells, and I will just show you the pages here. And of course, you can pause this video so you can see it a little bit longer if you want. Like some of the activities, like activity one here, look at some real cells. Um, like here, you know, she says do a Google search. Um, activity two here, let's see. Um, she has a YouTube channel and she has a botany playlist, which is really neat. There's a lot of little short videos to go along with lessons, so she'll tell you where to look. And we watched this one, that one was really neat too.
here's level two. Same topic, just a little bit more involved. You can see some of the little comical drawings here. The grabber. <laughs> Now here's lesson two, plant classification. And this is for level one. So you have your plants and vascular plants, non-vascular plants. And your vascular plants are divided into plants with seeds and seedlets and so on. We really liked uh, learning about... Where are they at? I don't see them on there. But we liked learning about the moss. Oh, over here, non-vascular plants, the moss. That was really fascinating, knowing how they reproduce. That's interesting. And here's level two. So we spend about a week per lesson because, um, you know, you have your, re your reading, and some of the reading is lengthy, some of it's not. But, um, let me go back here and show you, for example, like this is lesson three, okay? So you have this page and this. So that, that's short reading. Um, some reading is long, some is short. But, uh, so we, we spend a week doing each lesson, and, um, so we'll read it one day, um, work on the lap book, do some of the activities, you know, different days through the week. That's kind of how we do it. Now here's lesson four, the vascular system for level one. And we thought this part was kind of sad. These little aphids, you know how they suck, um, up the liquid from plants and kill them essentially. Well, well, you'll just have to read it. But anyway, they never mind. I'm not going to tell you. But <laughs> it's funny and sad. Monocot and dicot plants. Level two for lesson four. Here's lesson five, leaves and trees. Here's a little botany song. I just wanted to do a video over this um, program because this isn't something everybody hears about. It's something different. We really like it so far. Some activities for lesson six. Here's level two of lesson six. Here's lesson seven, plant adaptation, level one.
but this, uh, on her website she sells it as a PDF download and also um, in a paper form. So you could, which right now it's priced for the paper form. Right now it's priced at um, $24 or $29. Um, so I guess you could, you know, get it already printed off and bound and mailed to you. But there's lesson A, plant diseases. Okay, and the diseases here like cola nut gall and oak leaf. Um, just different, you know, you can make little swollen places here. You know, like this one here. I'm sure you've seen these on trees before. Anyway, so it kind of goes over that. And these, um, these last couple pages I've flipped. Like this one here, Wanted, the Japanese beetle. You know, Japanese beetles tells you a little bit about them. This one's the slug, um, spider mite, aphid, uh, cabbage white, cabbage moth, gypsy moth. Here's a bibliography. These are all the resources that she used to come up with, come up with this information. And here's the answer keys now. And the activity guide. Okay. Now I already showed you all of the activities in lesson one. So try to flip on over to quicker to lesson two. Okay. There's activities for lesson two, one for three, one for four, more for activities for five. This is a bingo thing. Some more activities like here's um a lab experiment here. Color this cross section of a leaf. Lesson six activities: dissect the flower. And here's your your lab report for your flower dissection. Here's a uh, testing the strength of a germinating seed. Look at pollen under a microscope. You see, this is a up close under a microscope the pollen grain. Here's all the you know, directions you need for these experiments. And lesson seven here, activities. And lesson eight activities. Here's general review activities. Like I said, you don't have to choose everything that they have listed. Just choose what you want, if any, even. Here's the botany scavenger hunt. And a final review. And the answer for the final review. Another bibliography. Here's the lap book pattern. In this one here, you take the the Greek or Latin genus and you match it to the 
you know, how we, what we say, like peach or plum or tomato, stuff like that, and find their scientific name and match them. The secret life diagram of the inside of the flower. And draw a cell here. Well, you finish drawing the cell here. It says, um, here are some micrograph pictures of real plant cells. And here's a fold out that you can make of your favorite flowers. And here's the template for that. Then make a cacti pop up picture. That one looks neat. And here's some stuff that you can write about desert. The consumable pages. This is about the end. And that's it. But I just thought that I would go through that with you since it is something different that you don't see every day. Um, anyway, in the beginning, of course, I tell you how to use it. But, uh, anyway.